reflection session at the end. We'll close by about five. Okay, Mel, should I hand over to you? I've got your, I've got the Prezi set up here. Yeah. All right. So. What is it really needed that we do as a next step after we've looked at all of these different technologies and we've examined how they potentially could change insurance? So it's um, hacking a business. So exactly the same way developers take ideas and transform them into prototypes to show how an application could work, actually what we're going to do today is get the closest to hacking a business and showing how a different way of organizing a business could work. Um, I've selected a methodology to use to do that, so we're going to do a little bit of learning as well. But first let me tell you what the day is going to look like. So we'll start with a few introductions as to how we talk about a business model, what a business model means and what are the elements that make it work. Then we will compile the current business model of the insurance industry. What does it actually look like? What are its mechanics? And we'll examine how strong these mechanics are. Where are the weak links? Where are the strong links? The next step is that I will introduce you to a number of patterns, which are types of new business models that have emerged the last 20 years or so, which have proven to be very effective in different ways, but which have changed dramatically how businesses function. And using these patterns, we will then examine the disruptions we've been talking about, so the technologies that are out there, and we will look at do they disrupt parts of the business model or not really, from an economics point of view, how do they disrupt them, and how do you balance the rest of the business model to actually deal with these disruptions. And finally, if you have the appetite for it, we will actually test some of these models with numbers. So I have a tool which will allow us to actually put together some figures and test, run them in the future and see, does this make sense? How much sense does it make? And so forth. So this is what the day is going to look like. So far, so good? Yeah. So it's going to be very much of a workshop. Um, I will do probably just two short presentations of about half an hour simply to get the terminology on the table. And the rest of it is us thinking together. I've done a fair amount of thinking myself around this and I find it actually a very interesting exercise to play around with the elements and see how it works. To my knowledge, nobody yet has done anything as systematic in this field as what we're doing here. So it's a validation of saying, okay, you have all these disruptions, great but do they really matter? So, this is exactly the point about disruptive technologies. They're fantastic, they are loved by geeks, they're adopted by some customers and by early adopters, but they do not always disrupt the business. And they don't always disrupt the business because they don't change the economics of that business. This is why we have this session. These are our objectives. That's all.